What's up guys? Today we're gonna fly 17 minutes with this setup. Superman Airblade 1404. These are 3850 kV on Triblade 850 milliamp LiPo 3S. This is 149, 150 gram all up weight with the battery. And the battery weighs the same amount as the quad. And um, it's 75 gram for the entire quad. Okay. DVR is recording. Woo! DVR is recording. So I'm gonna stop. Now I'm gonna let everything. I don't know how to sing those with DVR. T'es prêt, Rida? Ouais. I'm gonna fly really slow. So this is the area we're gonna fly. This is lunch break. And we've been flying here for at least four years every lunch break so I know this place quite a lot it's very boring to be very honest very boring for long range it's 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 okay now I don't have the RSSI with my XM plus that's an issue oh what is that oh it's a yeah chevreuil Who's that? dans la forêt là bas Quelle forêt? Uh, by, uh, La piste euh, à piéton, je viens de lui faire peur. That was cool. One minute. So, over there. At the very edge, there's another creek, and with one of my long, well, long range, it's like 1.2 kilometers. Uh, I flew over there once. It was like my super long range with a um, free sky. So here it is, there was a lot of tree. As uh, you, uh, you can see, there's uh, trucks. I don't know what they're doing, but there was like planted a tree here because I used to. There was like a gap in between the tree where I would go really fast and then crash on the other side. Two minutes. So that's gone. So I don't know what they're planning on doing. You see right there the glitch? That's because I'm straight into a dead path because of that tree. Boom, I am over. So um, as you can see, super slow, you know, this battery is really heavy, so if you do some extreme freestyle, you will definitely feel it. And it's not great, but the fact that you can get at least, I got 16 minutes and 58 seconds on another battery. So that this is a much newer battery, so I hope I'm gonna have a better flight time. I've been flying here with my CU quite a lot for the last past three weeks. I got this in HD with a real steady go, it's really smooth. I did hit some branch, I fell in that creek so many times. And obviously, I'm facing the other direction, so that's why the signal is not that great. We have Mocha Frame flying, flying his setup with the same battery as mine. So we want to compare, but he has some Emacs Avant prop, so it's like not efficient. It's a magnificent, beautiful day.
the current EC3 amp, it's not calibrated, so I'm not, I can't tell you if it's extremely accurate. Four minutes. But at least it's a, it makes sense, right? But the thing is, I went on the Dead Eye TV website, and they mentioned some other number regarding the, the setting of that of the current meter and I didn't have the same number so I'm gonna leave it like this and after this video I'll try their number and see if there's any difference or I can just pick a current sensor. So this is a great place you know to fly slow because you know it's beautiful but for racing it's very boring. I'll show you what I used to do when I was here back. I would go here Turn like this. Oh, yeah, it's not exactly the line I was doing. Five minutes. Go like this. Man, I forgot. I forgot what I was doing. But I do know I was always going through here, but not from this direction. Like, yeah, going like this. And I would always smash those wires and the tree. Okay, what else? So, I did a previous video with some 6,000. 700 or 6,500 kV motor. I was flying 12 minutes, so I knew that going near 4,000 kV, I would really get some really better result, and which I do. Six minutes. And I just got some uh, HU by blade three inch. which are really great on this setup and it, it makes a huge difference. The, the tri-blade are 1.5 grams and the HQ are 1 gram. So that's 2 gram light weight. I thought it was going to be more drastic having some bi-blade, lighter weight, but it's the fact that it's a 3 by 2 2 blade versus these guys, the Wing Dancer, Jim Fan are 30-28 they pull up fast and it accelerates faster, it handles really great. And I'm gonna play those instead of those uh, probably up here. So seven minutes. I also could try the six thousand five hundred KV motor with bike lane. That'll be really nice. And I fly 450 milliamp, which makes it very, very. Une voiture qui s'en vient, hein? Oh no, there's a plane in the sky. Is that it? There's a Cessna who crashed in East Eastern Township, and there is some. Um, we saw some planes from the army going over uh, this this town to check for that missing plane and it flies quite low so I, I heard some sound it looks like it was a car or even a plane. Eight minutes. so yeah for my long range I used to go with, like go here dip really below so I would lose video and lose radio sometimes and I would go in a straight straight line up to the creek I would do it but I don't have my NSSI which is really it's weird I don't know it's been 2XM plus which I cannot get the NSSI on the OSD it's not even but it's activated as box 12 in a bit of flight and um, it doesn't even show up 
the thing is when I add a new sensor in the Taralis, I think this first step, I don't see that thing. Nine minutes. And I bought my my X7 from Canada, so the firmware is supposed to be like the Canadian one, not the uh, European version. So maybe I need to flash those X7. And they're, they're, they're the newest version I know because they, the antenna is thicker. <laughs> so as you can see the throttle is at 30, 34. You see, going, I did once go over there during one of my very first, uh, very first uh, long range. I don't want to walk over there. My remote will tell me if I have a low RSSI, that's for sure. But I would love to see it on the screen. And I know my, the placement of my antennas are, uh, how can you say, like this, 90 degrees. And this is the optimal way of doing it. I, direct, I ask Free Sky directly. So I know I could go really far with this setup, at least 1.2 kilometers. So the camera is a all-in-one from our friends at UV Drone. It's like a $20 US camera, but it's actually a very, 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 very camera. I love it. And I initially bought that for my toothpick, a little free toothpick, six, five million years. I was really happy. Now I've put it on this because I didn't have, I didn't find that. something. And, um, the only drawback is, you know, when it's sunrise or sunset, the image is not that great. It's really hard to fly. Eleven minutes. It's really hard to fly. But, you know, like this is what a great view. Also, I wanted to make this video and show you I can get at least 17 minutes of flight time at this space, which I would consider at, like, for long range, you know, you cruise around, just chill out. Obviously it's slow, that's the, the whole point of measuring efficiency. And, um, so yeah, the, I just got the brother of the 1404 with a five, M5 screw for nuts. Instead of those two bolts you see in the image, it's the one, it's the brother of either like 8.25 grams each per motor. And the motor I have right now on this squad, the Superman, the Airblade Superman for Uno 4 are 9.27, they're, they're more heavy than the brother hobby. And it, I've compared not just the motor. I've cut the wires at the same length, and I've took the installed the prop. So we two bolts, which is one M5 Twelve and the next. Twelve minutes for me. Come on. Twelve minutes for me. Twelve minutes on three inch. Avec the Amax 1106 4300 kV. Twelve minutes, not bad. So I've weighed the motor with the prop. And they have two different mounting styles, so I'm saving four grams the entire quad, 4.2 grams. If you just look at um, when it's installed, not just the motor itself. 13 no. minutes. So uh, four gram is a lot, so I'll be like, let's say, so something like 71 gram. And I genuinely believe there's more uh, option for props with the M5, but there's no like so, so when I finish this video, I'll put the exact same setup and I'll change. It's not been Rida. I'll put. The, I'll just desolder those motor and I'll put the exact same prop same frame everything I'll do another video and I'll compare both of them and see I should gain more autonomy 
because they're 3,650 kV instead of 3,850 kV. Uh, I should see something. Minutes. I should see something. Maybe. Construction is different, so I hope to see better performance of the, the other one, the wire sticker. Tu veux, tu veux mettre la pile sur mon sac? Bon, c'est quand même pas si mal, mais. même pas si mal là. 12 minutes. Ouais, pour moi, ouais. Veux-tu une 4, veux ici une 450? Non. Donc c'est Lyon 06, c'est revenu au 6, hein? Yes. Cool, c'est pas, pas si mal. Ça va le tout bien? Yes. Is it fly well? Fly well. It's fly well. Good. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, 3.6 volts. This uh, mocha frame? Mocha frame, the best. <laughs> 7.5 gram, I think, just a frame alone. You should uh, bring them to the market. And the battery strap needs to, you need to change the, the shape for, so you can put a battery strap more easily. And that's it, your frame is ready to go. And maybe 2.5 millimeters instead of 3, so we can save a few. Yes, it's 2.5. C'est 2.5? Yes. Can I make one, two? Sixteen minutes. What? Oh no, I have to land. No. Sixteen minutes? Oh, bummer. Did I make this video for nothing? 16 minutes, 16 minutes, 15. <gasps> so the tattoo batteries are not that great. Another, this exact same frame, right? Same frame, just different layout. 12 minutes, a max. Oh, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. 11.06, 4,300. With a 3S, 850. And this guy, 16 minutes. I'm so disappointed. How much? C'est quoi le poids? Uh, I don't remember. With, uh, It's uh, more uh, heavier than this. 75, 80. Yes. So guys, I'm very sorry. I was not able to get... Um, I will try the other battery and I'll record another 16 minute video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.